Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How about some awesome live scope footage? Some big bass harassing some shad. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get into this. It's pretty awesome footage. I was out fishing, um, just hit record. I didn't end up catching a six pounder out of this group, not actually on this footage, but I'm over a Christmas tree. Uh, you've seen this Christmas tree before in some of my videos and the shad were balled up over top of it. And there, like there is, there's a big bass and it's amazing how you see the, the shad just literally just separate when these bass come in. But kind of another thing that I noticed in this video is, um, at the beginning of the video, you see I'm in the three foot deeper than the actual depth. That's how I have my screen set. And later on in the video, I kind of switch. I'm in a little bit shallower water, but I don't switch it to uh, three foot below. I keep it on like 20 foot of depth. Now, a guy brought this to my attention. He said that what happens is when you're in, say, 10 foot of water and you put it on 20 foot of depth, the fish finder or the unit thinks it's still thinks it's in closer to 20 foot of water, so it sends out more power. Um, so get, by getting more power, um, they're saying that, that you get a little bit clearer image. And so I got to thinking about it and I could say that it's actually true. I can't confirm this because I don't know exactly how the power outputage is on the, uh, units and how that actually works. But I could see if you're saying, uh, the same amount of power sent out in 10 foot of water would not work in 40 foot of water. Um, so I guess if it, uh, so that sounds like it could be true, but as I get a little bit shallower here, I notice the crispness of the picture in, um, is increasing and I'm not changing my depth that much. And so, you know, it sounds true. Don't know if it is true, but it, it does sound like it has some logic behind it. Uh, as you see me creeping up into 14 foot of water and some of these images just get clearer and clearer. Um, and now I'm at 13 foot of water and the, and the, the crispness of the images just gets better. I mean, look at this fish. You can actually see his, I mean, the tail, you couldn't see this in 20 foot of water, very easily seen swimming around. Uh, it's very easy to see the motion of his body. And so, and that's a big bass. Uh, I did later on catch that fish right there. Um, he was, it was a little bit over six pounds, beautiful fish, but you notice I'm in 13 foot of water here and 12 and a half foot of water, but I still have it set on that 20 foot range. And to me, the target separation gets, gets better. I think the distance out you can see gets better target separation. Now look at the bottom. There's a fish out there and about you know, 35 foot away and you just so clearly see him. Um, yeah, I know some people are going to say, well, that's not 60 or 70, but I'm just looking at the, the, the image of the fish swimming, how detailed it looks. And I got to say that, it, uh, I've been using this the last few weeks where I'm, for example, in 11 foot of water using the 20 foot setting and I'm 20 foot using 30 or even 40. And I'm telling you it is increasing my visibility, increasing my crispness on my picture. Guys, thanks for watching. So guys, what did you think about the whole thing? New intro, some awesome footage. I mean, can't get no better than that. And you know, did you like the hats? They are. Check out the Facebook page today. I got eight left as of this video. And you know, ring the bell.